okay dear students so let us see what is there in this question uh, the input of a diode bridge rectification circuit is a sinusoidal with a time period of 20 millisecond it means they're talking about this input signal which is alternating current and uh, the time period for which is 20 millisecond so in 20 millisecond it completes one revolution positive and negative now it wants us which graph shows the variation with the time t of the output voltage between x and y so there is an output voltage between x and y and we want to create a graph for the voltage versus time and uh, let us see first of all this kind of an arrangement is used to create a full wave rectifier so what is full wave rectifier full wave rectifier is a rectifier that converts alternating current into um, a DC current direct current and the direct current is current in which uh, the direction does not change it means if the voltage output is positive it remains positive throughout it cannot become negative so if like this this is positive every time this is positive every time this is a rectifier but that is the same case with this also but these are half wave rectifiers and these are full wave rectifiers first of all so this variation is used in the case of full wave rectification so either the answer is a or the answer is b so it is not c it is not d how i will tell you let us say this is positive and this is negative so if so the current will move like this it current will go like this like this this now here this will become reverse biased and so this diode will not let the current pass through it but this diode will let the current pass through it and the current has reached x so it goes through the x y and then it reaches this point now again there are two junctions here either it can go upside or it will go downside so it cannot go upside now it will go like this so it will go from this side down and like this and like this so this is how it moves and so you are getting an output wave from here and what what will happen in the case of uh, uh, the uh, next uh, half revolution when this is negative and this is positive the current will move like this through this through this and then through this and it will reach the negative junction not the positive value so in both of the cases we see that the output voltage is available across x y so it will be like this so either it will be a or it will be b that is for sure but how much is the time period for the complete cycle 20 microsecond so a will be the correct answer because this is half and this is half in 20 second the complete cycle is completed but here the total time period is 40 millisecond so our answer will be a not b so this is the explanation for this semiconductor kind of question if there is any other doubt please do let me know in the comment section this is Professor Varun. Please share my YouTube channel. Subscribe it. All the best.